Okay, so I'm back on my, um, I was showing my butterflies from the Stamper's Best set that I purchased. And I was showing you how I cut out the butterfly and then I colored around it with black. Okay, and then I'm going to take, and then I formed the antennas. Back up. That's still hot. Okay, go. Go do what you were doing. And then... Um, actually, I think the easiest thing for me is to go ahead and glue these down. What I did was I put one of my glue dots, the kind that I make with the Aileen's Tack It over and over again. I just stuck a little glue dot right there. And then all I'm going to do is color these antenna black with a thick black market, thick market in tuxedo black. And I'm just going to get back there. It's just easier to hold them if they're already attached to the butterfly. Oops, I'm not even in frame, sorry. And that's it, you just color them in. And you've got some little antenna. And what I did was I did, like I showed you, I have this one and this one. And this one too. And then I have this, which is a paper that Robin gave me as a sample of this wood grain. Thank you, Robin. And I've got a little piece of blue paper that is um, three and a quarter by, by four. And then I cut this just about an eighth inch bigger this black piece. And I stamped this with the stamp that Robin gave me that's from Hampton Art. She got it at Michael's. And if you can't see, it's like a flourishy looking one that has a script in it and I just went ahead and did this background on this and then I went around I inked the edges but there was a little bit of brushed corduroy and so it gave it an even more antique look I was really just trying to make the edges more more blue because I stamped it with tumbled glass but I know what happened. When I put this down on my mat here, I had been antiquing some other papers for another project that I'm going to show you in a second. And I got the brushed corduroy on there too. So that's why. But that's okay. And then I'm going to stamp it in black, thinking of you. And this is just a sentiment I got from a set that I got from Michael's maybe, I'm not sure. Had it for a little bit, a little while. Okay. And then I'm gonna attach that with my ETG. Just gonna add that to there, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get this embossing folder because I really, really like it. Then I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna attach this to a maybe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to a cream base or a white, or maybe even craft. Not sure. Maybe I'll do the craft because the butterflies have the brown body. Maybe that would look kind of cool. And then I have this felt fern that I cut using my Nestability's foliage. And that's going to go like right here. And I'm using the Fabri Tac permanent adhesive. And I'm just going to dab it on the back in several places here. Okay. 
I like this glue a lot, especially for things like this. I just kind of want it to be a little bit curved. There's all these little glue fibery things. And then we'll do our butterfly. I think it's going to go like maybe right there. I'm just going to add some of this glue just because it's out and readily available. Okay, and then we need a piece of craft cardstock. I don't know. I think I'll make it open this way. I'm going to cut it. Maybe I'll do up and down. I like the up and down opening cards. Uh, so this is 8.5 by 11. Um, paper tree ink craft cardstock. Just cut it in half and now I have two card bases. And this paper is really, really thick so it's good to um, use your scoreboard. Like the Stuart scoreboard for it. Just gonna score it here down the middle, five and a half inches. I have such a mess on my desk. When my desk is a mess, you know that I've been having fun. It's a sign of I've been creating. But I have a little bit of a neat freak tendency because I was trained that way by my mom, but um, yeah, so anyway, it makes me crazy when it's a mess. And yep, so that's going to go right there, like that. I think that was the right choice, don't you think, with the craft? I like it. And I think I will add maybe another butterfly up there and that completes the card but I'm not going to attach that there yet because I want to show you my project my other project that I've been working on today my neighbor and I we're going to get together this weekend you know Saturday is national scrapbook day and so she and I are going to get together to make a mini book See, that can go right there. Or I could do this purple one, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Cute, huh? All right, let me show you. I was going to actually add some twine to that. There's a little bit of glue sticking out there. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to make a little bow. Let's make a double bow. Let's give it a little extra something something. Oh, I see what that is. That's the tail. This is the tail. Ticket right there. I like it. 
Okay, so here's my project. I learned how to make this book from two places, okay? One is Ch Charlie Jones 2686. And I learned it from Laura at Following the Paper Trail. Um, I, I saw it on Laura's a long time ago. I was just one of those times where I was just collecting projects and I didn't have time to make it. And then I ran into this um, YouTube channel, Charlie Jones 2686, and you must visit her as well. She is wonderful with these projects and she does a great job at teaching them. She's a great teacher. So I learned how to make this book and Laura has a name for it and I don't remember but it's really a very simple little book and um, this is just what I've done just for the sake of learning how to make the book but it's got 12 pages inside and I ran this through the polka dots embossing folder and I did the inside and then I used my other fern I need to cut out some more and of course my little butterfly and so my intention is to put like a little plaque in the center a little so like something in the middle I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it but some sort of something and then I'm gonna put because um, I like embellishments in threes so you know maybe something like that, something of the sort. I'm not sure, but you know, maybe framing the little whatever I put in the middle. So that's my idea. And then I also want to share one more thing. Because I want Robin to see. If you remember, I got these molds, Martha Stewart molds that are intended for fondant. Well, I took some Model Magic, which is just kids air dry clay that's uh, by Crayola and it's basically I've, I've heard it's just a paper product and I just smushed it in there let it dry a little bit and then I just popped it pop, pop them out and here's one that I actually painted with my acrylic paint dabber and so there you can see you know it's moldable you can you know use it on oh see I cracked it okay so it's not that moldable <laughs> never mind um, yeah it cracks but it would be so cute on you know mini albums you know just embellishing it I was thinking I could add it like that and then here's some more and then this is this part right here. I just smushed it in there and took it out and cut them into perfect squares. And then I made four of four of this one and you can actually make a sort of like a what do you call that? I forget. But kind of like an architectural element, if you will. And then over here, we have the two, um, I thought, we were thinking like these would be great for sunflower centers, and then these. So I just wanted to share those things with you because that's what I've been working on. So thanks for watching. Bye.